On September 19, 1981, Central Park in New York City witnessed a historic event as iconic folk rock duo Simon and Garfunkel reunited for a free concert that drew an estimated crowd of over a half a million people. The concert, officially known as the Concert in Central Park, marked the first time Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel had performed together in over a decade. The idea for the reunion concert originated from a request made by New York City Parks Commissioner Gordon Davis, who proposed the idea to Paul Simon as a means of raising funds for the city's parks. Simon embraced the idea and began planning the event, which would ultimately become one of the most memorable concerts in music history. Despite the initial concerns about crowd control, logistical challenges, the concert organizers worked tirelessly to ensure the event would be a success. The Great Lawn in Central Park was chosen as a venue, providing ample space for the massive audience that was expected to attend. On the day of the concert, fans began gathering in Central Park hours before the scheduled start time, eager to secure a prime spot for this historic event. As evening fell, the park was transformed into a sea of humanity with people of all ages and backgrounds coming together to celebrate the music of Simon and Garfunkel. When Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel finally took the stage, the crowd erupted into cheers and applause, signaling the start of an unforgettable night. Accompanied by a band that included renowned musicians such as Richard T., Steve Gadd, and Anthony Jackson, Simon and Garfunkel launched into a set list that included many of their greatest hits. From the opening notes of Mrs. Robinson to the haunting melodies of Bridge Over Troubled Water, each song resonated deeply with the audience, evoking a sense of nostalgia and unity. The chemistry between Simon and Garfunkel was strong as ever, with their harmonious voices blending seamlessly together. One of the most poignant moments of the concert came during the performance of The Boxer, when Art Garfunkel's angelic tenor soared above the crowd, accompanied by Paul Simon's evocative guitar playing. The song, with its themes of resilience and hope, struck a chord with the audience and became a highlight of the evening. As the concert drew to a close, Simon and Garfunkel returned to the stage for an encore, performing a stirring rendition of The Sound of Silence. The song, which had become an anthem for a generation, served as a fitting conclusion to the historic event. The concert at Central Park not only showcased the enduring talent of Simon and Garfunkel, but also brought together people from all walks of life in a celebration of music and community for the hundreds of thousands of fans in attendance. It was a night they would never forget, a moment frozen in time when two musical legends came together to create magic in Central Park.